and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited that y'all are here with me today as always. Um, I'm really excited to be filming. Um, I just finished filming this eye look. Um, I did an eye look today for you guys with the new Kylie Cosmetics Royal Peach Palette. I really wanted to try and recreate this look on the card as best I could because I just thought it was so pretty and different with the blue on the lower lash line. Also, I don't, okay, listen, this card, you know how she sends her cards with everything you order, it looks like it was handwritten, like this doesn't look like it was printed, I'm not saying that it is handwritten, but it really looks like it might be handwritten. I know when her lip kits first came out, she sent out a few handwritten cards. Um, her other cards that I've gotten, like with her other palettes and lip kits and stuff like that, have been glossed over and the writing was printed, but this is like not glossed over, it's just a piece of paper, it's just a card and it looks like her writing, if so that's really cool if I got something signed by her, I don't know if she did that this time, but anyways, <laughs> I wanted to recreate this eye look. I already had my eyebrows and my face on, I just wanted to do an eyeshadow tutorial just to kind of ease myself back into the game here um, and I was really excited to use this palette I'll say quickly same quality as all of her other palettes I absolutely love her palettes I love her shadows it has nothing to do with the name that's on the packaging It has nothing to do with status or anything like that or what a Kylie Jenner item means it's just if I'm making any sense at all these eyeshadows I would be buying them no matter who made them is what I'm trying to say. If it was Kylie Jenner or if it was some random brand that I've never heard of or if I could buy this at the grocery store, I would still be buying it because these eyeshadows are really, 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 really good. Um, I will say there's been a lot going on about the smell of the palette and I will say the shadows do smell, to me, it smells like spray paint is what it smells like to me. Um, which I guess is kind of chemically, chemical smelling is what a lot of people have been saying, that it smells like chemicals. Um, it does have a weird smell, um, but it's not strong. It doesn't bother me at all. Um, it doesn't feel weird on my eyes. Nothing burns or anything like that. Um, I just think they just smell like that. Um, I don't think it takes away from the palette at all. I think it's an incredible palette. I think it beats her other two palettes that she's come out with so far, even though I still love those palettes. Um, I really like that this one feels like an actual palette. It's very big and luxurious feeling. It comes with a lot more colors, and they're really, 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 really pretty. Um, it's still January, so it's still considered winter. I mean, if you're from Texas and you walk outside like I do and it's 80 degrees, it feels like summer. So um, peach is perfect for right now, but it still has some options in there to make a more wintry look. Um, as opposed to jumping right into spring and summer, but you can also jump right into spring and summer with it I think it's an awesome palette if you haven't checked it out I highly recommend it if you're interested in seeing how I got this eye look then please keep on watching So we are going to use the Royal Peach palette, but I'm going to use this buff shade from my Huda Beauty um, palette because the Royal Peach palette just didn't have a just setting shade now to get into the Royal Peach palette we're gonna use this orange shade on a big fluffy brush it's the first shade in the palette and I'm just gonna use it as a transition and buff it back and forth in windshield wiper motions in my crease just to create a nice transition for everything to blend seamlessly everything we're gonna put on the top part of my eye is going to be all this peachy orange shade I really wanted to stick to the peach theme Side note, this brush that comes in the palette is almost identical to a MAC 217, so I wanted to try it out and see if it was kind of the same. So we're going to dip it into this more dark burnt orange shade, and I'm going to focus it on the outer V of my eye and kind of blend it in towards the center of my crease. This brush works really, really, really well. Usually, I get those brushes in palettes and I immediately throw them away. This one I am definitely holding on to. It's just as good in my opinion as a MAC 217. It does the same thing. The, br the bristles on the brush are so good. They don't fall out or peel off. They don't stray away and make it really messy. It's just a really good quality brush. So I was really, really impressed by that. And I'm just going to blend this shadow in um, until I get the desired look that I want.
And now I'm going to pick that first shade up again on that big fluffy brush and just go in and smooth everything out and make sure it's all blending really smoothly and looks nice and cohesive. There's no sharp lines or anything like that. Um, blending is so, 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 so important. When you think you've blended, go back and blend again because there can never be too much blending. Honestly, there's nothing worse than those sharp lines. Um, on the tops of your eyes and then with this bottom shimmery shade It's kind of that same shade we've been using but with shimmer in it And I'm just gonna take a flat synthetic brush and just pack it and pack it and pack it all over the center of my lid This color is so pretty. I was so impressed with this palette you guys It is so consistent with the quality of her other palettes and I don't care about the smell honestly It doesn't bother me. These shadows are so pretty. I was blown away by how good these shadows were working and how pretty it looked. I'm never really one to use all one color on my eyes, but this looks so good and pretty. And I'm just packing that on and then here in a second I'll pick up that um, 217 brush, the Kylie brush that's like the 217, with that darker coral shade and I'll go in there and make sure the shimmer in the coral is blended together and then I'll take that big fluffy brush again and just go over the top just to make sure everything, like I said again, is blended. Blend, 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 and blend some more, people. You can never blend enough. Like, it just looks so pretty. I was so, so impressed with this palette. Um, so just keep blending, make sure everything is smooth. This is really like a goof-proof eyeshadow look because it's all kind of the same and that's why I love it. Anybody can do it. You don't have to be super skilled or experienced in makeup because it's really all just kind of one color, so even if you make a mistake, you're not going to notice it. And then I'm going to pick up that black shade from my Huda Beauty palette, Any Black Shadow Will Work, on a pencil crease brush. And I'm just going to put a little bit right, I mean right on top of my waterline. Um, just to kind of create a more V'd out and open shape of my eye because I'm not going to do any liner. So just right there in the corner of your eye, like right above your waterline. And then with that same brush, I'm going to clean it off and then pick up the blue shade from the Royal Peach Palette and just do um, right underneath my waterline. Um, I'm just going to create a liner of that blue. Try not to be too messy. I was a little bit messy. Try and keep it nice and tight right up there on your waterline. Um, and then I just kind of like took my finger and a q-tip and dusted off where I kind of got a little bit too messy. Um, and then here in a second, I'm going to pick up my um, big fluffy brush with that first transition shade that we use. And I'm just going to go underneath that blue and just kind of smoke it out with that orange so that it all blends together. Um, I know I have blue eyes, so blue is flattering um, on... Blue shadow can be flattering with blue eyes, but honestly, I think this would look beautiful on any single eye color out there. I don't care what color eyes you have, this will be so, so pretty. I loved the way this look turned out. Um, like I said, it can get a little bit messy. If you have a smaller brush than the one that I was using, I recommend it. This one was just a little bit too big, um, and it made it a little bit harder for me to work with. Um, but I just went in there and blended it out with the first shade that we used as the transition just to make it all look nice and blended and like it really goes together. Um, and that's all that I did. And then here in a second, I'm going to put on some Ardell Demi Wispy Lashes and a little bit of mascara on the top and bottom. And that's about it. And then I put on a little Kat Von D Bow and Arrow Liquid Lipstick, and that's the finished look, you guys. I know it's not identical to the card, but um, I'm not, you know, a very seasoned professional. I do my best, but I really love the way it turned out. I think it's really soft and kind of romantic and pretty, but a little edgy at the same time with the blue on the bottom. Um, I really, really appreciate you guys watching. I hope you loved it. I hope you try it out. Send me pictures if you do. Send me pictures of your looks with this palette. As always, don't forget to celebrate yourselves. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video.